How is pedaling? Like, you, is it all people? Like, do you want to do it? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Four and a half, two, up and two. Uh-huh, and how fast do you do? that bless this land of British Columbia and for the many creatures that depend on old growth forests for their survival. I need another adult to help me with this. Someone to hold this. And then I'll need someone else to hold this. This is going to be our puppet stage. So can someone come on and hold this? That'll be great. And we're, yeah, now we need an adult out of you. It's kind of heavy because you're going to have to hold the tree too. That's great. You can help. Yeah, get, grab on there. Western BC. There has lived a gentle and majestic creature named the Northern Spotted Owl. Originally, it is estimated that there were 500 mating pairs of spotted owls living undisturbed by humans within the wondrous world of their vast big tree wilderness, which is falling rapidly. <laughs> but we can pick things up. Okay, turn. <laughs> now, after decades of chainsaws tearing through the heart of the ancient forest, there are only 17 spotted owls left in the wild here in BC, and just six mating pairs, making them, sadly, the most endangered bird species in Canada. But these days, most of the trees are gone. It's hard to find a safe place to sit. I'm so tired. And there aren't as many schools coming. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier. What's more, I'm feeling lonely. There are only 70 left of us, and I'm the one who doesn't have a mate. How am I going to have little mouths of my own? He said that when the that Keep, when people started to cut down trees, we started to disappear. It's really scary when people come to cut down our trees. All the animals try to hide, but pretty soon we won't have any more places to come. Let's go to the We'll help you spot it out. We'll help you. We'll let that happen. Uh-oh, here comes somebody now. I think it's that guy, Gordon. He's a senior in British Columbia. Why isn't he doing anything about this terrible situation? Yeah, why isn't he? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Looking cedar tree, or uh, maybe it's a spruce, or or maybe an alder. I don't know. You've seen one big tree, you've seen them all. Most important thing would be a good cutter downer. Oh, turn a pretty fast buck for our buddies, the logging companies. <laughs> hey, what did you say? That tree you're talking about is part of my home. You can't keep cutting down trees, or my friends and I will all die. Enough is enough. Oh, listen, Owly. Don't you worry, my fine feathered sweetheart. We'll just take you and the other owls to a nice cage. And we'll feed you, and we'll look after you and your chick while we cut down the rest of your forest. And then, well, we'll release you back in the world to fend for yourselves. Free as the wind blows and the grass <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound fair to me, Barbara. We need an election. Yeah. Well, well, why not? Well, Gordo, this might be difficult for you to understand, but even if we breed spot, if you breed spotted owls in captivity, we will still need all of those forest habitat to live in.